New day, new tools. So today we're talking knives. I love knives. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean? I enjoy using... Doesn't sound good either. You need a good knife. That's what I'm trying to say. Today we're gonna find out which knives are good, which are bad, which are good for what purpose and stuff like that. And you know me, they are all gonna be from DeWalt. So let's start with the cheapest and most basic one, and that would be the fixed blade tradesman knife. This is, is nothing special at all. It's just your regular standard knife that you have somewhere in your shed or in your pocket or your tool belt or your car or wherever. Everyone has one of these, I'm sure. If you don't have one of these, you should get one. It has a 90 millimeter blade or around nine coffee beans long. The blade is made out of stainless steel. The, the handle is molded plastic. It's not much to it. It's a cheap knife. The price is around $10. But I would say this is kind of an essential knife. This is something you want to have in your tool belt. It's going to be your main weapon where everything else just fails. So you can scrape off some old paint. Uh, you can cut some sausage for lunch. You can wiggle up an old nail head, for example, or you can just show off your, your kick-ass knife throwing skills. You're not going to cry yourself to sleep if you mess this knife up. So this is the I ran out of options knife. Okay, so this next knife might look like your ordinary carpet knife, but it, it really isn't. Because this blade isn't retractable. It, the whole thing actually folds. Uh, pretty much like an, like an old dried up banana. The folding thing makes it kind of like a, like a mix between a, a, your regular carpet knife or your retractable knife and a folding pocket knife. Which is kind of cool, I think. Um, but apart from this having a lot of, of cool features, it isn't a premium knife. And you can actually feel that from the build quality. It, it's, it just feels a bit cheap. I paid uh, like 30 bucks for this. Again, as I always say, or I've said it like two times. I live in Norway. Um, everything is crazy expensive. You can probably find this on Amazon for like $12, $13. But apart from this feeling a bit cheap, they actually went in and, and did a good job on some of the features. Because you have a, a ball bearing for the, for the folding mechanism, which is kind of nice. You also have a really good blade lock. I mean, the blade lock feels really tight. It has a little bit of a of a snag to it, but it's it's really locking the blade in place. So it doesn't move. It also have um, instant release or instant blade switch feature. So you just press this little button and then you can just pull the, the blade out and you can put a new one in. So that's really handy. So you have a storage compartment for your blades as well in the handle. So you just press this little button and you open it up. And there you have, you have room for five spare blades. And what's Really impressive is they actually put in a little blade guard so when the knife is closed and you open this compartment you don't kind of screw your hands up, which I would totally do. Comes with a belt clip. It's not the best belt clip I ever used, but um, but it works great. Also, I mean, it, it's nice to have in your pocket. It's a bit bulky and as some people have stated earlier, I have fragile computer hands, which is true. It feels really good in my hand and I, I think it would if you have big manly lumberjack hands as well. Apart from the a little bit shady build quality, it has a lot of cool features. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. And um, it's super easy to open and close with one hand. I would call this, I want something cool, but on a budget knife. Let's go into the premium segment. This is a premium utility knife. It has a retractable blade. It has a lot of, of good stuff. I mean, this thing just, just reeks of quality. The curvature is really nice. It fits really well in your hand. Feels really sturdy. The sliding mechanism is great. It's a bit squeaky. I'm gonna put a little bit of, of WD-40 in there and that's probably gonna solve it. It has a lot of that grippy rubber, both for your thumb and, and for your fingers. You also have some in the front of the knife, so you can actually, I guess you use that for when you're replacing the blade or if you want to do some really fine detail cutting. It also has a little slit on the bottom. When the blade is fully retracted, you can cut some string or, or whatever, open packages. It's a, it's a nice little feature that they just added in there. It has four different positions and they all lock in very nicely. This is a great slider. And it also comes with the same quick blade replacement feature thingy. Well, this button isn't located at the front, it's back here. So you just press down on that button and you can pull the blade out, replace it and put it back in. Probably my favorite feature is the, the storage compartment on this one. And it, same kind of solution for storing your blades. It's too bad you can't feel what I'm feeling when I'm fondling this knife. Hmm. Press the button, open the lid, and you just, you gotta feel this. The, the, the opening mechanism is, is so smooth. I don't know why I'm getting so excited over a lid, but it's it's probably my favorite thing. Probably more excited about this little storage compartment than I should be, but 
I mean, if you take a look, it has a rubber seal around the compartment itself to keep the blades from getting wet. So it's actually waterproof. So you're not gonna end up with rusty replacement blades for your knife. And also, if you take a closer look here, you have a small, small rubber tab that's just gonna make sure that your spare blades aren't rattling around in your knife container thingy. That is some, some nice detail. But you also pay a premium for this knife. So this cost me $50 and I'm not regretting that at all. It's a, it's a really, really good knife. The only thing I have a small complaint about, but that's a bonus for you in the States or Canada, uh, that this one comes with a lifetime, a limited lifetime warranty if you're located in the States or Canada, which I'm not. So um, yeah, I don't get that warranty. So that sucks, but super cool knife, really like it, go get one. So this is the I spared no expense knife. It has everything. Okay, the last knife. Of course I saved the best for last, or at least in my opinion. Just to be perfectly honest, I'm a total sucker for folding knives or folding pocket knives, and this is no exception. This is the premium DeWalt folding knife and I, I love it. I had a few folding knives in my life. I don't know what it is. It just feels really nice to open a, a pocket knife, a solid pocket knife where you can actually feel the lock click into place and just feel that the, the blade really sits there and, and it's just, yeah, it just feels good. And as I said, this is no exception. This is a great pocket knife. It doesn't have a spring-loaded opening feature. It doesn't have that little helping flicky thing on the back. Uh, it does have a, a little thumb, uh, what do you call that? Thumb knob, boop, so you can open it. And, and it's no problem to operate this with one hand. Uh, especially if you do a little wrist flick, just open it up and flip it up uh, and you're gonna look really cool, I promise. And obviously this knife is a lot slimmer than the previous knives I've showed you because this is made to go in your pocket. The blade of this knife is 82 millimeters long or about eight bracings. The blade is also made out of some fancy pants heavy duty steel, which makes it super durable, apparently. The blade also has a serrated part, which makes it really easy to cut through a bit of a tougher materials. Or your finger, which I tried last week, um, wouldn't recommend. So the body is made out of aluminium and bone fiberglass, something they call G10. And the blade lock and the bell clip, I think they are made out of the same material. It's some kind of super springy spring steel. So with all those features, all that build quality that went into to this knife, I mean, it's, it just feels like quality. It, it's such a great feeling. I mean, nothing is better than holding a, a well-built tool in your hand. I didn't mean it like that, but you get my point. This also have a limited lifetime warranty if you live in the States or Canada. I would totally recommend you getting either this one or that one, depending on what you're gonna do. So this is actually a part of my, my EDC or my everyday carry. Not when I go into town, because that's not allowed here in Norway. It's just great to have in your pocket. Do that cool little flick and then just go and cut something and then just put it back in your pocket. Love this knife, get one. So yeah, this is the yes please leave in my pocket knife. If you have any knives you prefer of your own that you use every day or, or for any kind of projects, please leave a comment below and let me know what knife it is and what you use it for. Especially if someone has a recommendation for a nice folding pocket knife. If you want to see some more tools, go ahead and check out this grill review. I think you're going to like that one and also go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.